Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm going to show you how I uh, had to make a special tool in order to uh, reinstall the front uh, cam drive gear. This is a Mercruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder, and uh, in the process of taking it apart, I removed this, this gear here, which is the drive gear for the camshaft. And um, it's not the driven gear, it's the drive gear, and it mounts on the front of the crank. So you see there's a chamfer here, so that goes towards the crank to clear the uh, fillet, on, fillet on the uh, crankshaft right there. And in hindsight, I probably didn't have to take it off, but you know, it is pretty close to that journal right there. So by removing it, you give it the uh, machinist extra room to keep from hitting your teeth with his machine. So anyway, it, I did it. So um, in the process of putting it back on, well, I knew this when I was taking it off, I found a unique problem, but this engine has a, uh, Unique situation that I have that I've rarely or actually I've never come across to be honest with you So most of your crankshafts have a hole in the front and there's a bolt that goes in there to hold the front uh, Harmonic balancer or pulley or whatever on there. This particular crank has a small hole, but it's not threaded. There's no threads there So this is um, and it's not very deep either So there's no way to thread a device in there to actually pull this gear back on there. So I think I read on the internet that they hammer them on with a rubber hammer or something. I don't know. I just and I, I just don't like hammering on an engine because uh, when you hammer on this crank, you're putting all the force towards the back and it, and it uh, puts pressure on that thrust bearing in the back. And the bearing is a little bit soft, so I'd rather not do that. So what I did was I made this tool. It's made out of half inch thick steel and uh, I drilled these holes in it. And I used the front engine mount, which is this. And uh, let's see, it was, I think it was like, it was like that. Yeah. So I use this front engine mount as a template and some, uh, some of my mechanical skills or whatever you want to call it. And I created this bar, steel bar with holes drilled with the same template as the uh, motor mount. And so I've got in this hole right here in the center is perfectly centered up with the uh, crankshaft. You can see right through there. So what I'm gonna do is um, I've got this, uh, I took apart my normal harmonic balancer pulley or puller and it has a 9 16 threaded, fine threaded rod or threaded bolt. And uh, with a combination of uh, two, two grade eight bolts, I'm gonna use this to push this gear back on the crankshaft. And what I'm gonna do is um, one nut will be down here holding the, the, I'm gonna use a steel plate. I've got the steel plate that I've had for years. I don't know what I made it for, but I think I made it for pulling wheel bearings out because um, you can put it down in there and twist it like this anyway. So this will be the plate that pushes on whatever it is I'm pushing the gear on with. And then, uh, which will, in the case of the gear, it's gonna be this deep socket. So this will go over the crankshaft, push on the out, outer edge of the gear. And then my steel plate will go on the back of here. And then uh, the uh, 960s, 9 16th bolt will fit in this uh, well there'll be a nut and then this will the nut and the bolt will push on this and push push the socket and push the gear okay continuing with the special tool i made to install uh gears and harmonic bouncers on the Cruiser 3.0 liter four cylinders um it's not working out quite the way i'd hoped i mean it's working it's just uh i need longer bolts these are six inch long bolts that's all i could find at the hardware store so i probably need another inch inch and a half to do this right but so what I'm having to do is use progressively thicker. So this, I'm using a piston rod, a V6 piston rod right now, because it's big enough round to fit over the crankshaft, but, but it pushes on the gear. And this metal plate here is pushing on the rod. So um, what it's doing is the, the distance, this about one inch space is um, pushing this gear on. But I'm gonna run, sooner or later, I'm gonna hit the front of the crankshaft with this plate here. So I have to stop and put in a thicker spacer. My original plan of using this uh, this socket, which the socket's deep enough to where once you get it in there, it will go all the way without needing any more spacers. It'll go completely, it's deep enough to push the gear all the way on and not without hitting the front of the crankshaft. But uh, it wouldn't fit between the front of the crankshaft and, and, this, and this plate with it all the way out. So I had to uh, basically use a, a thinner spacer to get this started. Once I get it going, I'm going to run out of, like I say, as soon as I hit resistance with this plate hitting in front of the crank, I'll switch over to this, finish it up with the socket. 
But uh, it's more than I wanted to do, so I've got to get uh, probably another inch and a half or so of, of bolts here to make this work in one step with this device here. So, if, so what I'm doing is um, I'm holding this sta this rod stationary with this wrench with this socket, and I'm turning a nut right here out, so it's it's putting pressure on the bolt pushing in. I'm not rotating the bolt because it would rotate and try to go into this steel plate. So by twisting the nut, it's just driving this bolt inwards and pushing this uh, gear on. So I'm gonna keep going until I hit uh, the front of the crankshaft and then stop and put this in there and I'll show you a video when I got that in there. All right, um, these two for pushing the uh, gear on and the harmonic balancer finally worked. I used progressively thicker spacers ending up with this uh, final uh, socket here as a spacer and it got the gear all the way on. Um, Sure does look close to that block though. I need to make sure that it doesn't hit by moving the, the crank back and forth. But um, it worked, got it on uh, to make this work better or properly. I need longer bolts so I can get this in there from the very start. And then I'll have all the play of this rod to move that thing in to push the gear on. So I'd say it's a success, but it needs a little work. And um, on the next uh, time I use this thing, I'll show you with the uh, longer rods or longer, these longer bolts. So that's how you, uh, that's how I install the gear, the uh, camshift drive gear on a 3.0 liter Mercruiser 4-cylinder. Thanks for watching.